we will can look at um waiting the opposition APC um think about the twenty twenty four finance act and self look at in them with the inside the twenty twenty five finance bill. For Kai put up on this issue are the welcome honorable Dr. Ofa Soe Koma, when at the parliamentary spokesperson for the opposition APC party. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, sir to you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so before we look at um the current case you which you there for, give me a general update on things that were done the Apple to member of parliament on a still on recess. Yes, we are on recess. We're still there on recess. We will resume on the 31st of October. Okay. So before we go on recess, when will be the final and decisions they will not be take or proposed bill that will be there at the table will not be handled it, will not think they will not return. That will be area of discussion or things we'll not go look at. Well, we we'll get looming issues them, of course, in the media space. And of course, as parliaments, we we'll get other things them way, we will be all put to rest. One will be the Child Marriage Act, will be the last thing we'll handle before we break into recess then of course during this recess we will be get an emergency sitting when they call we then we talk about the the child rights act of course the child rights act that be the like the umbrella act for all picking them but indeed uh, the government think and wise and parliament of course by extension think and wisely the marriage act of children we need for address them and that one was really uh, expeditiously hand on our parliament we now would all kind of align laws with the customary act in terms of picking them and woman them who are not for married until the age of 18 and of course we also get other issues all we go see recently in our parliament we get for do with the millennium challenge corporation um, agreement where the government can win and where parliament of get for approve which we just don't approve in our parliament so those were some of the things that we would handle so far within recess and before recess start. All right, um, as you did inside the program this morning for talk about um, within the opposition makeup of the 2024 um, Finance Act and within now some of the things that we, you know, go there inside the 2025 Finance Bill. But firstly, within as opposition on a makeup of the 2024 Finance Act. Well, the 2024 Finance Act, definitely, I think it's important for a lot of people them, the perspective of how the Finance Act they come and what they happen before the Finance Act and what they happen after the Finance Act and what they happen before the Finance Act. Now, the government they come with a physical strategy statement within the PFM Act, say Section 23 and Section 21, so both subsection 1, they talk about the minister and the government whenever they come into provenance for tell the people of the country within a strategy for the next five years. Then in the twenty in twenty in the section twenty three of subsection one, the government also through the minister for come and tell what thing will be the government in fiscal objectives and for that for that three year time the in the in the year. So when government don't do that, whether they come a parliament through approval and a cabinet, the fiscal strategy statement will carry on a parliament. And for we as parliamentarians, pretty much not just information saying that this would all agree for do. Then after that, they will come with the finance act and the finance bill before it become an act. And the finance bill, now you need to see we think our government ready for raise money for letting them fund their budget. And in the fiscal strategy statement, the government also they talk about what's the objective them in addressing the challenges them for letting them finance their budget. So we see, say, the Finance Act of 2024, government come and raise and taxes. They raise taxes on rest, they raise tax on cement, they raise tax on iron rod. And as we all know, Naya, those are basic commodities. One, rest, na basic food item, cement and iron rod, na items, and they will move the infrastructure of the country and also they create jobs and people and within other field they for build houses them. So indeed, with that increment day, we see say government say they want to raise more revenue for let them reduce public debt. They want to raise more revenue for reduce external debts. But the question is, how do you do that without resorting to increasing the burden on the backs of the ordinary Sierra Union? Okay. And now we, now we have own perception say the burden increased because government want fund for reduce their debt and other things then. So before we reach at this stage, forget to, I mean, 2024 Finance Act into being, only the opposition get a role on the play Absolutely. to the debate process. Which is going to objection and how much will be considered the interest of the public? Well, we first of all, we think, say, the 5% increment on rice 
was not timely law we take a uh, put things in perspective since 2009 2008 stroke 2009 the government or the former government we don't remove the five percent uh, tariff on rest of course then then they will be get a uh, global crisis uh the recession the great recession and all that and other challenges in the country where the government at the time we believe say will get for reduce the burden off the back of the people them and at that time they you know say will be the talk about rest at hundred thousand they reach to two hundred thousand eventually but when this government come of course we see say they don't manage not for adapt that five percent deep arrest but last year we didn't can and see them for duam and indeed nothing other will not talk where they not make for stopping them from duam for sure say on an orbital line absolutely with them. absolutely first of all at that time they will be the not say rest they don't come up from two hundred thousand they don't go to 450 at the time and we say if we can increase her now by five percent pretty much that five percent day the importer the buyer will transfer the cost to the final consumer so government say government won't be overzealous government won't raise revenue but you cannot be raising revenue off the back of the people that we you know say one you know will create employment for two you know say the rest of the will i meet the rest um three four years before the price do double at the time from 200 to 450 which in a young grounds and as we note now even around that time they now just around that time the rest go by 200,000 uh they follow an interview with uh, somebody from uh, sierra network do on court on camera we talk we're gonna mark it we go ask people them um, how much them they buy rest in 2020 in the year before and they see them they buy uh, uh, um, the rest for 450 and 460 then enough for Pusawa and OAU and then they ask the how you sell her by cop and then ask them back what's not the price of rest now and then tell them say well rest don't go rest they go now at 650 and 670 and at that same day they may say rest for five leons per cup or 3.5 leons per cup as the case may be but as we talk now we see rest don't go at 6,000 to 8,000 even the OAU rise now on at 8 leons per cup Okay. So you see why will be the urge government say they're not for increasing this tier because government will pose say increasing that increasing that tax day because the argument was the the body will be brought by the people of the country and say no well then why use the fund for help for fit salon you know say the government gets a project for fit salon we tell them back say well you cannot kill salon if you cannot say you want to feed salon by killing salon billing. If rice go up so much and Andy will depend on then eventually the people then will perish and an Andy will they see right now. As we see rest they now almost at nine hundred and fifty leons per bag. Okay. Um now as you um mentioned and say from government official them then we'll, they make and clear say the reason why some of them taxes they are come on board now for you know generate revenue, the feed salon program and the rest. But according to Una, Una say not to the best term this for the government um increase tax because it will you know affect the layman. What do you think say the best way government for don't use as way for generate revenue? Well, first of all, government get for generate revenue. We cannot say government for generate revenue. But we also believe say government for reduce expenditure. And we believe say the way we government will reduce expenditure, one, now for reducing the wage bill. Two, now for reduce the offices when they get. Three, now for reduce the number of uh, traveling where the president gets. Four, now for reduce the number of expensive vehicles when they buy for when they ministers them and directors them. Those are the ways where you go reduce expenditure you know get ministry of uh, environment they get ministry they get an environmental protection agency you know get ministry of finance they get ministry of economic development when they all not be one ministry you know get ministry of gender affairs and children affairs and social welfare where then two not be two ministry now not two ministries now be one ministry so some of them things in the office say now prudent financial management now you go make government able to meet the expenditure without resorting to increasing the burden on the ordinary man when you do that, then of course the revenue where you go to raise, you go go use them for do the other things them, especially for feed salon. Government also need for look into the the tourism sector. Government also need for look into the marine fisheries. How then go go get money from marine and fisheries for kind to agriculture versus increasing the bag of in the price of bag of rice. We if you follow all the studies they will they go through who they watch now, even the local production of rice fall from the tandem from seven or eight years ago 
the local production of rest of fall the parboilers the the fenferes we salon be they produce and even try for manage for export all they say don't reduce to zero dollar meaning they need to see the exportation in the because rest of the we need produce rest and we we'll see how how you go to fit salon with that process in that process day all right before we can start for look at um specific you mentioned about um issues of um office more office them and travel of the president but another um side of the coin will say the office is them will then create and travel of the president very sig um, significant for the country absolutely uh me and you says if i will get but could you go one for you I go one for get television at table na na mi na mi pala. I go one for buy uh, a car. I go one for buy if a nice suit. But you get for look at waiting how you pocket day. You get for look about look at waiting day na your bank account before you take the 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 the, the, the plunges in day. If you not say you not get her, then you not go get you manage what you will do. If the previous government then you will manage ministries them together. Why if you say the current government not go to do that? And then say in, in effective financial management as well as in being an effective manager if you will multitask or you will allow one person for you will do but putting them with the same amount of resources we talk about um, in economics basic economic practice we talk about scale of preference opportunity cost you take you look at priorities them put the most pressing at the top and the least at the bottom and when you make that choice there between spending more to get more results or spending less to get more results you've made a concerted effort at make and creating an opportunity cost say okay i'll forgo this forget that or forgo creating more jobs for my own boys there by ensuring that we cushion the economy so that the ordinary man will feel the essence of government in their life because when you go in a market we go to the people them all they cry on government is this do your papa government bring the rest the price of rice down and the people they say the price then they tie and send to the dollar okay the dollar we see say dollar does stabilize over a period of time although it all being go back so if not be the dollar why rest do go from 500 to 900 so we don't say not to the dollar alone we know so this tax it don't cause problem but what is worrisome is that in that finance act of 2024 government project to increase the tax of rice to 10 percent so now that I cry the people that they get now what did they ask say the president will sign sign the 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 the, the, the bill <coughs> for let them increase the price of rice to 10 percent and one tell them say this will happen from the last finance bill we become a parliament so naturally if for go that, that direction they, so as an opposition we play on government for re get a rethink on this whole process and see how we we'll remove the tariff on rice in the first place. So let's look at the f fiscal objective on this whole act. If you're able to achieve a winner for regulate economic um, instability and stabilize the uh, growth rates and also maybe get more young people um, employed. You think mm -hmm. in all of this, I mean, finance act to say 5% increment here on certain things like RS, IROD, it, it has been achieved so far? I don't think so. Because even if you look at the construction business, a lot of people, a lot of uh, contractors, they tell you say work not day. They tell you say work not day. Now, if you call contractor for what do basic mercenary work, um, you do uh, mercenary work, you get three or four or five of the whole one for do the work because job they not the right now. If you travel around back, you look at the the house they already build, you see say that construction they go on well. So which means the tariff on cement and and road do impact that that job creation they within a field day. One of the informal sector, we know to government they provide any job they need for them people and they and then go land their own profession and then can't be their work. All they want to see is money and they grab on a site and go work for somebody. But if the possible way for hire you know buy that cement or that IR day for build the four story or five story house we want build or for build the chalet they want put na in na in place, then of course you know go to get job for them people a day. So we all we would we they talk say this thing we they talk about taxes, it gets that that domino effect. And he also gets the effect way at the end of the day, the man, the unintended uh, consequences them that then go happen to the people that we know wish for they happen to. Um, still get for do with issue we get for do with um, cement and iron road. We see government at twenty percent on cement and ten percent on a road. What is the effect with this will cause on people where the rent goes? Um, well, we will, we first of all we hope say the new homes them, the rent. 
for not for be equal to old homes because if it was a middle day before naturally you go you already were tenants and day so if new homes and come then build new homes you expect say if somebody they move into a house just constructed then you expect say the rents will be high but unfortunately we see say there's so much comparison between old homes and new homes and they're not this, this uh, distinction all day so definitely rents go go up then the only man in salary always almost the same then how they go go afford for living at the house where they want to live or the house of their own dream for live in because not necessarily means they pass it below before you live in the house you want to live in so in construction of course we did talk about also the workers in back within another industry day we can say that informal sector but come on land and land they work for themselves and uh, through that they defeat their family so if construction is gone as it may then definitely then people then say not go to find work so those are some of the challenges that we talk about incrementing in cement and iron rod we know in a sector where definitely they create jobs for a lot of people and are one of the drivers and now of <coughs> inflation so we believe say government forgets everything because government say and one was one of government's argument was then we don't reduce their tariffs and they but they not see the desired results meaning the they may expect say with the reduction of the the taxes the prices of cement and iron go can down when well, they not see the price of dentin and they go down so because they not see the price of dentin and they go down they then say go collect their own and i think say not to the way that the government for think government for always they try for see how you go help the ordinary man government for always try for see how you go support the welfare of the people them where you, 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 you deserve and if you want to do that you know for they always look about what is in it for you financially but you should be looking about what is in it for the people them welfare and in terms of their welfare how them go to survive and i think he believes the government get, get for the forget a foresight on what thing that they do Lord, we try for get more cushion in resources. When we do that, they will be able to come and support the people when that arises. All right, it's also the problem there because according to governments now that even though they reduce some taxes, they not see they reflect on um, goods them. The prices. Instead, governments say, okay, Lord, we are now local. Lord, to revenue, yes. We lost revenue. Also, the problem there is it that now monetary aspect now the issue of waiting. Well, of course, you know, say most of the items when we talk about iron rod and cement, they are all imported items. Um, in 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 the last parliament, the fifth parliament towards the end, we signed a lot of agreement to get for do with importers and more cement. Who claim say in two to three years, then we will begin locally produce cement na salon. So we they believe say we don't go into two years now, going to three years. Before they see that, then people then they don't go to that level. They produce cement na salon because if they continue for imports, then of course the leons will be going against the dollar. And if the Leos is going against the dollar, then you know say the cost will be high. And we know say we get so many things and where they go on at the world right now. We go where they make government all book, um, traders and all compete, bringing the goods, the cost for exchange your own leons to that dollar day. You get for spend more leons for get that dollar day for bring them goods and day. So we self get for look at your internal dynamics and see how we will fix that. And I think say though we as opposition can come come and then um, um, platform here for can explain to owner. I think say the governments also get responsibility for come and tell people them we think and think about and see how they do because if they not explain to the people them we self can wonder why they do the things they they do. So in terms of this um five percent on items them just like I'm a co-presenter ask you you think that this gets effect on quality of the things that we people in go need especially when we talk about iron rod and cement maybe because of the increments people into this kind of business will rather go for something of more substandard way in the a lesser cost i believe so absolutely and of course uh, when you talk about the five percent may mind go to rest somebody will use for buy uh oil rice we force now for buy the pusawa or the pakistani rice also say necessarily that rsd they want it but that rsd they will afford and you get people that wait be they say they use for buy they use for eat 10 cup rest now but well, now they get for cuts and out to five then you get for go to the rest where they where they where they swell so then you get um issues in back of people they will say well i used to buy half bag rest but now they are the rational and the unfortunate part of the people who the ration rest is then they spend more eventually paris versus the way they buy by bag so you see how 
how, how unfortunate that is. The person no will buy rest by bag already, but in the papers they will buy rest because none they will afford. So, you, so the 2024 I mean Finance Act don't make majority in the position of eating waiting. They no, they no want to get out waiting the able for afford. Yes, uh, absolutely, definitely. I mean, if you know, bull, if you know, bull buy rest, and unfortunately, we know bull buy rest first and a Gary they buy, but Gary back self expensive now. So, what you do eat now? And for people who they eat cookery, you know, say this the, the measurement don't reduce. You know, they eat cookery now for Belfu, you eat cookery no more for seed or eat. So, the quality of life of people, it don't reduce and. I think say government need for do something. Now make we as opposition say we support government for feed salon. The question is how do you go about it? And now we are two years, almost two years into it, and we not see nothing not come on a farm it. The only thing we we'll see na na uh, government officials and go na na farm they use scissors for cut rest. So we want for see machine na na them na them plantation and they so is it how the, cut how, for plow the rice then they. What is it how the opposition go about it for support government for the feed salon? Which exactly you mean? In policies, okay. We can only offer solutions. We can only prefer alternatives because we are not running government. But it, it, it it's incumbent for government for be a listening government. Government for listen to the cries. Comment for listening to opposition. It not means so you do something opposition say means say you're weak. It just means that you're a listening government. Because most of the time or some of the time the voices of the opposition are the voices of the masses of the people. All right. Um one thing we um the wall in general don't they advocate for, get for do with um the environment and we all know how um the environment, we human there we don't unbook the environment, rain the calm, the terror not supposed for calm. And um leader the all over the world, including we leader, we president, don't they advocate for let people, you know, move away from the environment and start for use gas. But we see we are in the the, the, the act to get a five percent on cooking gas. You think say that kind of rate the people go able to move away from the environment instead of going to use gas? I'm I'm, I'm glad you answer ask that question there because Mrs. F why be the reader I see why governments say uh, then they, they introduced the tax on cooking oil. That the, the same reason back then, Profa, say, uh, nine and forward, say, they not see any change in the use of alternative, uh, um, alternative fueling, and that people are still using charcoal. So let them say, go back and get their own back. But we, for me, I think the government for us see how we can promote, how government will subsidize so that people will be more apt. For go say, okay, I'll go get my own canister of gas, so I go use and also I not go buy charcoal because the charcoal they can are from the provinces, and what thing they do? They, they cut trees then down, then burn them for charcoal. We not get alternative charcoal yet with the on wide scale. Government can also come into that business day for see how alternative charcoal go day, because if we are just if we are planting trees, you know me say we they replace them big trees and they automatically. It will take time for them trees the way you plant for grow. And of course, if they, they cut more trees than they, they grow trees, even though you are growing trees, they, it will impact the environment tremendously. And we see how this past dry season I be so hot. I think it's the hottest than the of recent times, or middle experience as a Sierra Leonean, where your body pretty much they drain in sweat. And we see how drastic the rainy season will be because of the heat. So all of them climate uh, irregularities and they or then climate changes and they I think say we as a people for be more prone to doing the right thing versus also at the same time government for play that supportive role for ensure say people are able to act in accordance with the environment. Otherwise you'll be forced them to do what they will not want for do, but then get for do and for survive. Okay. Um, again, even though you don't talk so about some of the bad effects, then but we see we are in um, the minimum alternative alternate tax rate is reduced <coughs> from three percent to two um, percent. You know, things say this now, you know, significant progress on government side. Of course, I mean, I think say that it's good for government because government get for help um, large scale investors them for invest in the country because when they do that, they will be creating jobs for us, the Sierra Leoneans. Not only that, they're going to improve and increase economic activity in the country. Also, believing that it will boost exports. So, if government say come back and file tax and get back an alternative, forget your money back, 
I think say now like cushion and they for the investor, but not to something and they what the other man will feel directly, even though eventually it will impact the other man indirectly, eventually. But of course, that's one good side of her. But also in this finance act, back we get for think about what thing happen the unintended effect on the increment of taxes they would levy against locally produced alcohol because. I live at the represent a community in Wellington and we get Sierra Leone Brewery in Wellington. And Sierra Leone Brewery, they cry, say, the taxes they wouldn't be levy against alcohol, especially locally produced alcohol, not giving that competitive advantage against the imported alcohol. So we will look forward for letters for this new finance bill, we will come to parliament, then ensure they protect Sierra Leone Brewery. Because Sierra Leone Brewery, they create a lot of jobs for Sierra Leoneans. Secondly, without Sierra Leone Brewery or without any key for Af Africa Foundation, Sierra Leone Brewery for all die long term. And we know things Sierra Leone mean, Brewery mean for economy, and we know things Sierra Leone Brewery for a local economy as well as the export economy. You mentioned about um, local produce alcohol. See, um, the tax not different from you know alcohol that we then come in with. Waiting now the increments we happen or waiting at the issue around a particular local pod, um, product. We then did not salon. Well, one thing we get for notes, Sierra Leone Brewery, then beer what they make, now from sorghum and malt. And most of the, the sorghum and malt, or all of them, are grown by local farmers. And then local farmers, and then they supply to Sierra Leone Brewery. So, meaning, if you say they increase tax on, a, on alcohol, they less than 10%, what we know, say beer, stout, they all are less than 10% alcohol. Then pretty much don't increase tax on them, and the the the, the excise tax na under the heading twenty two o three they talk about beer made from malt, and when you say beer made from malt, so they talk about the stout and the and the 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 the, the, the star beer and the the, the other beer ways you are with the the sell. So if you come and you not agree, you are be with that advantage. Where you say we know the tax or the tax or the tax sooner, it will reduce or the tax or the tax imported beer will be high. It means now you don't get Sierra Brewery a competitive advantage, meaning then prices then will be less than the Heineken, then go less than the 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 Becks, then go less than the the other beers that they come. So if you not get that advantage, but come and go say before I buy Star or Amstel, I buy Heineken because now it's almost the same price. But if any king now forty thousand or sixty thousand, then uh, star beer now twenty five thousand. So one will say, well, the star or the the other beer, it not so it not so it, it tastes not so bad. Though. So why are not we consumer in the name of protecting or supporting the local content at the same time in the name of protecting your wallet? So if we not give you alumni with that advantage, day, then in one we would not impact the way that they do business two we would not do something we go negatively impact even the farmers the way they grow that sorghum they mostly na 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 in the in the provinces we get for brand car for supply Sierra Leone brewery so we they call on government for see how they go reduce the tax or give Sierra Leone brewery a competitive ad advantage because Sierra Leone brewery they boost with local economy Sierra Leone brewery they create jobs for people in the community and Sierra Leone brewery a good for salon so in terms of the 2024 finance act they already done they come to an end the implementation you think the government need for look back and see if they're able to achieve their fiscal objective where according to them now for regulate i mean economic stability maybe get more young people employed yeah absolutely and of course uh, like i said government say they want to reduce external debt they want to reduce uh, 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 domestic debt they want to reduce the total debt burden they want to see how they go uh, Increase their revenue. And you think that this and then, and decision GDP. speak to that make they able to achieve all of that thing in the way they state? Say now the reason we make them take this decision. We no we see any change in the positive direction. All the points to the negative direction, pretty much. And when they talk about uh, based on waiting, when they talk about reducing um, the the domestic the domestic debt, then talk say they want to reduce them from. Um, 35 percent to 30 percent 
They say global commodity prices fell 14 percent the first quarter of 2023, and by the end of March, they were roughly 30 percent below their historic peak. We not see see they hope will achieve that day. We they also talk about um, inflation, and they also talk about the the uh, they look for that part the now the the growth rate. So if you not see that growth rate day, and inflation pretty much does stay steady for one year. And the result of what in, now what you do to the economy or what you do to taxes, will people then still not see a, a prosperity with and desire, then I don't believe say you for continue with the same thing. Then say the 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 the, 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 the true definition of insanity now we you they, you they, you they do the same thing but you they expect a different result. So if we need if we do the same thing but they see the same result but to continue for doing then that would be insane on our own part so let me could believe say government get for do everything government get for reduce then taxes yeah government get for see an alternative on how then go will try for boost economic development i then go will reduce the debt burden i then go will reduce i then go will support the budget without resorting to borrowing a government will do all of those things then through their own micro management or macro management of the economy without pretty much resorting to taxes on basic commodities and then government could not do the right thing for help themselves because if the people then complain reduce then government essentially could not help themselves if the people then say oh we realize some prosperity when i look behind 2023 or 2024 what you are in this 2025 as we go day or what you are expecting 2025 i tell god thank you what in government not do in terms of rest then government essentially could all be help themselves. If the construction contractors them and say, Oh, we should say they will build houses now. Mrs. Say will pay me picking school fee because I will go on a site and go work. Mrs. Say will buy rest now because rest don't go down. The market to myself don't know say not get for ration again. And let remember the market to my necessarily complain say the profits only they get from the rice, what did they sell? It don't reduce because now they get for manage the cup of rice ration as to what they buy by bag so the all the economic factors and they within flux they, they help government so in all of this this all finance act of 2024 not they in the interest of the public in it's your not, view it's not a public centered finance act and government need for rethink how they go global and sure say they meet the fiscal strategy objective then in the coming years without leaning or bending on the backs of the ordinary Sierra union then. all right before we can look at um things then we you know, get for the inside the 2025 finance bill. Let, let I just take you back. We see we are in government at 10% on gambling, betting, and lottery companies. This thing, please. Well, for gamble, my like choice will possibly make. And I think say anybody with them gambling, it be out of realm of what you they try to do for survive. If you able afford for gamble, pretty much means you will uh, feed yourself. Hopefully. But we also know say gambling back can be addictive. So sometimes by government increasing the taxes and gambling becoming more expensive, it will remove people out of the habit there. Because one, not to thin and we want to people there for the into. But unfortunately you cannot control them. So if government if government will make more money from gambling, it's I think it's good for government. I don't think it's a bad thing. Because then in an option with somebody they make for going to gambling. Looking at the fact, say the already 2024 Finance Act, way the implementation they come to an end, gets a lot of burden on the people, as you don't state. You think, say, government in any way for consider another proposed, I mean, increment? No, governments will consider removal of their taxes here. We will be don't enjoy from 2008 2009, especially when you get for do it rest. But then, get easy why they think say then do they increment here so the reason, and we don't make that clear to the public, right? So, the reason is them they say they want, they want to reduce total public debt from 98.8 percent to 92.2 percent in 2023 and 66.6 percent in 2024 against to 2028. So, now we'll look at the trend how they don't achieve that if they don't achieve that public debt 98.8 percent to 92.2. The last one we'll check. The public debt still there at 95 so which means the noble achieved and they then say they want to reduce deficit reduce the world budget deficit including grants from 10.9 percent of gdp in 2020 to 5.6 percent of gdp in 2023 that's back 
the budget deficit still they high. The last time we check it, they over six point six percent. So the numbers and they don't say say government get for look at alternatives. And to me and to we, we believe the government get for reduce expenditure because expenditure and revenue generation and then get for find that fine balance day because you get for if for let you for let you manage for let you spend you for not raise revenue. And if you reduce your spending, that means say the revenue we the we get for generate, you're not gonna be so pressed for say I for go find another way for get money for la obu spend. So low manage the expenditure, then that nigga will make pressure reduce. We mean government will be more people centered for So you they say this budget. because you they talk from the opposition point of view? Or no, if Ona be in the position of taking a decision, I so exactly on for don't do. And they say this because me and Sierra Union. And they say this because at the experience I'm. And they say this because at the see people and they suffer then consequences they are on a daily basis. And where you see them, you they feel them. And where you feel them, if you find an alternative. So what do they feel exactly? The hardship. Okay. Uh, cost of living high. Um, rest price they go up. Then they not to noble, you know, you know, propaganda rest price. Because it's there, you they buy them every day. You get off it. You know, we'll uh, create a machinery where you go say, "Hey, we now go, you go, you go, you go, you go bear food tomorrow." Where you know, say you know, you they sleep angry. When they the interview, our woman we say, "In picking, they sleep angry now because if they buy ten cup rest now, now are five cup rest they buy. So naturally, if you rest or if you food, where they eat, where they feed on, don't reduce by half. Then absolutely, you know, go will live the way they live again. Again, the private enterprises, the local content enterprises, how you go see, say, you reduce the taxes, then for letting them stay competitive, let them not go out of business. Government need for rethink that they back when they come in the new finance act. So, which means what in the middle propose for rest for B10 percent, we suggest a government reduce them or remove them. So, 510 for be removed, take us back to 2008 to 2009, where there were no taxes. On the there were no ta uh, um, tariffs or excise tax on rest. But Take us back to those when when we be the, we not can compare salon with Ghana or Nigeria. We say the CET rates need for be harmonized with the other states. Them we know say the the level of uh, suffering is higher and higher versus the other country. There somebody will proffer another um, another explanation or other argument against that. But what would they feel as your unions eh? now we will say as your unions eh? and i think the government for ensure say they manage their own activities eh? for fit Sierra unions eh? a lot of they compare ourselves with other countries them eh? in terms of say if then they suffer so we for suffer because when the governor of malaysia was at the bank governor asked why in country no bull no 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 be suffered during covid because of all the economic downturns of other nations he said because of your own prudent financial management, the way how we manage in country economy at the time, in country be able to survive COVID. So now that kind of salon they will for the thing but say how would they manage we oversee travels? How would they ensure say we cut government costs? How would they ensure say we cut we cut according to the size? If you cut your coat according to the size, then you go to feed the people of this country inside the program now they take some message on i don't send in line with the different issue they would look at this first one i will take on my facebook page for mystic nadu azak they say the staple food of any country should be prioritized by ensuring it is available and affordable the increase in tax on a staple food will definitely have a ripple effect on the ordinary Sierra Union. The decision was not timely because the ordinary Sierra Union is consuming rice on a daily basis. Um, this other one I will take from a senior citizen is say this government does not care about the welfare of people. How can you impose tax on staple food when 90% of our Sierra Union is consuming rice? Minimum wage per month is 800 and a bag of rice is 1000. No wonder food insecurity has increased to 92% in the country. People are starving. This is sad. This other message is say all these decisions are taken by the two parties, the opposition, um, APC and the ruling SLPP. So I don't see any need for them to come and act like a saint. And this other one say, um, Honorable Yusuf made a part of this um, bill during the term with him pass away and now on the risk concern. Another message inside the program say the way things are going, it simply means that people should double the way they earn. 
find more things for do so you go earn more for meet up to the economic status of the country and this other one from patrick musa momo is say why government are so wicked in a way that they always passed bills that will nearly kill the masses this other message from a facebook page you say if the decision is taken i don't see any need to talk on it because there is no way it can be reversed and this other one say, um, as a nation, we should try to boost our domestic tourism so that many Sierra Leoneans can know and visit historic sites in the country. Our domestic tourists, uh, okay, <laughs> this one not too clear. This other one from Susan is, I wish the ministry and all other stakeholders good luck and the very best on the outcome of the Women Regional Congress. Well, because of time, that and the last message for me, Osman. Uh, the last one I will take from for for now. This one say um, 98.1. Um, one way we all right. This is not too clear. You get some messages sent inside the program on our report. Well, thank you very much. I mean, um, of course, we see how people um, they 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 pretty much relate to what's in the gone. Of course, the first one talk about the food rice and consumption. I agree with them that rice being a staple food and rice being one way every Sierra pretty much they try for putting on the table. We as a country need to see how we will ameliorate them taxes then they and also meet the people them halfway. Um, of course, the decision they say all decision are two party in our parliament, but of course, anybody they follow parliamentary proceedings. Uh, which is now no secret. We go online, we tap into the Finance Act 2024 debate. You will follow so the opposition suggested a lot of the changes there. But of course, the opposition strength in Parliament is 52 against 81. So at the end of the day, the party was strong, then they win the votes in the Parliament. Um, of course, the bill can be reversed, meaning that they can work out another Finance Act for 2025 so even though the projection has been that it will increase to 10 percent we believe say government for will reduce them um, for meet the challenges them of course we agree say government get for fit alone but i believe say government get for reduce the, the the expenditure and see how domestic revenue against gdp will go up without this necessarily increasing the taxes on rice and all our basic commodities and where they move with economy and what did they put on the table? Very important message table. where somebody sent. He said the Finance Act 2024 have been in existence and operating since January 2024 without it being signed into law until October 2024. No one is talking about it. It means the bill has been implemented when it is not law. Not true. Not true. Uh, bill the kind of parliament, and once parliament passes them, it becomes an act. And once it's an act, it becomes a law. And any bill get 14 days for let the president sign up. So they don't sign a lot long term. Now what will they talk about now? What if will happen next year when they call the bill? And then if will happen in the tenth month according to the fiscal strategy statement. Say in the tenth month the finance minister will come with another one, then of course we'll go back to parliament on the thirty first. They will believe say they will call with another finance bill and subsequently another budget bill or appropriation bill. All right. Well, I hope say that text that they don't get unclear from Honorable the program. Now, good morning, Salon. Welcome to you live from Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. Plenty thank you for joining us at the program this morning, um, Honorable Unfa Sorikoma. Plenty thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you to the listeners and the viewers.